In this video, I will be showing you how to update the firmware on your ATN Thor HD thermal site. I will be assuming you have a new unformatted SD card and will walk you through that process as well. To start, let's check our current firmware version. Go ahead and hit the enter button to bring up the quick menu. Scroll to settings. Scroll all the way to the right to settings. At the bottom of the settings section, you will see firmware version and in light gray the version number. Next, let's go ahead and format the SD card. Scroll back over to photo video. Scroll down to format SD card. Click yes and yes again. Note this will erase all content including save profiles, photos, and videos. This process may take a few minutes. Click OK. From here, let's go ahead and power off the Thor site and remove the SD card and put it in our computer. Bring up a browser. Go to atncorp.com. Across the top, you will see firmware. Click the firmware link. Scroll down until you get to Thor HD. Below the download button, you will see all the great updates ATN has provided in this version. Click the blue link. Save. Once downloaded, go to your download folder. Right click on the bin file. Choose copy. Go to where on your computer you have your SD card. Right click and choose paste. Once the copy is complete, go ahead and remove the card from your computer and insert it in your Thor site. When you power on the site, after the ATN splash screen, you will see update firmware. Scroll to the left and click yes. This firmware may take a few minutes. So you can see how long it takes, I have not edited the video. Few things to note. When the firmware update is finished, it will let you know and the site will reboot. When the site comes up after the reboot, you may see something like configuring Wi-Fi, configuring settings, uh, or something else with configuration. Let that sit there for as long as it takes. It may be five or six minutes. Don't get impatient and try to remove the batteries. If after six or seven minutes, it still says configuring, then go ahead and remove the batteries to reboot it. Once we've updated the firmware, we want to go ahead and do a factory restore. This ensures optimal performance of the site. To do that, go to settings, restore factory settings. You'll go ahead and say yes. It'll tell you you need to reboot the site. This means you need to hold the power button until it says power off. You'll select yes and then turn it back on. Note that right now the time is 1845. After a factory restore, the time will zero back out and you'll see that in the screen. Also, you'll note that the compass says calibrate. At this point, your site is ready to use.